fresh out the oven. What is cracking, everybody? It's Mega Pyman here, and welcome to another look at my map. This time for King of the Hill Synthetic Alpha 2. Last time I showed you Alpha 1 of this map, this is after I had to go through at least one playtest, and this is the second version of the map. So, problems I attempted to fix. Let's begin over at the spawn point with these issues and then move on from there. So one problem that the Alpha 1 version had was that since everybody spawned kind of over here, people didn't really look to see that there was a door over in this area that they could go out of to go to this side of the map. Most people, since they saw the door right ahead of them, walked forward and just went this way and didn't think about going to the right. So what I did is I expanded the spawn area over this way, so people now spawn mostly in this general direction, so they're more likely to see both doors in their view when they spawn. So when they spawn, they just hop over this railing right there and they can go out this way or they can go over here to the left. Hopefully that will negate some of the issues of people not going over here because it's like this area of the map exists. Please use it. It's good. I put time into making it. Please go over here. It'll be good for you. I, I promise. I promise it'll be good. I promise. Something else I did was I filled in some of the empty space that I had over here by moving these fences closer to the edge of this building. I still want to have uh, the ability to go around behind this building. I like the way that looks, and there's no real reason to 100% get rid of it. But I did move these fences a little bit closer in to close in the space so there's not so much dead area over in this general direction. It made sense. Somebody said, hey, there's a lot of dead space over here. Maybe you should do something about that. So I did. Something else that I changed was I did a little bit of work in this particular room. Uh, I think I lowered the overall height of the high areas, so I had to redo some of the inner areas like in here to make sure that there's not a ton of fall damage. And I added this little prop that is actually from Mercenary Park, does not have a blue variant, only has a red variant, and honestly, I'm not a big fan of this prop. Its texture resolution is pretty garbage, and it's really, really awkward to do clipping on it with how the stairs are to make it smooth to go up and down, so I don't know if I'll keep this prop or not. I don't know about that one, but that's what we got so far. So you can kind of walk off here, drop down on this prop, or uh, you can even use it to, to get up here. Maybe if you're a scout, you could double crouch jump up to this area. Uh, the purpose of this area, of course, is to have some high advantage over anybody who's coming in through the door in the same with these stairs over that way. It's just this is a little bit more extreme. Uh, added in these stairs, and I widened this catwalk area so it's a little bit easier to get across. Something that I got a lot of big feedback on. Hopefully I'm not jerking the mouse around too much. I'm making people dizzy or nauseous. But something that I got a lot of feedback on with the Alpha 1 version is that people did not have as much of an easy way to get up here to this area that they wanted. So I redid this second transitional building to focus a lot more on having paths that go up. So I have this path here. You can jump up on this and then go up these ladders to get right onto this catwalk. This catwalk is wider, so you don't have to worry about falling off it quite as easily. Of course, you have this path right there. And then I added some paths in here. Uh, some staircases. These staircases may look a little bit wonky, but they are the exact same sizes as the steps from Gorge. Those really steep stairs, once you get past the first control point and you're going through the building to get to the second control point, these steps are exactly the same size as those. So hopefully they don't look too off. And you can use that to easily go in here, go up this way, and then get over here. I also opened up this particular brush, which originally was just solid. You could stand on top of it uh, to get a little bit of a view over the point area. But I, I, I opened it up, 
And I put a window in there so now you can walk across. I tried to make sure that you couldn't easily have a nice big sight line through there, so I moved the doors around a little bit to try to block sight lines. Um, and also, it gives people more access into this room that they can again access the stairs. And it gives people another option of where they want to go when they come out of here. If they want to go to the left and through this building and then through here, or if they want to go to the right and go up this ramp and then decide to go to this building or decide to go left over this way. Something else that I did is I set these doors from well the map CP wells where these are from. I set them to permanently be open. Uh, another big thing that people had with this map, another big issue, was that snipers didn't have anywhere to go. Snipers were complaining that they didn't have anywhere to snipe from. So this map is inspired by King of the Hill Arctic, and Arctic does have this long opening across where the point was. I thought, hey, I'll be a bit unique. I'll have these doors that you can open and shut for sniping and whatnot, so snipers aren't too overpowered, but they still have that option. Apparently people didn't like that. Not only did they not like that for snipers, they didn't like that for m many classes, but I still like the prop of the door being there, so I just set them to always be open. Uh, so now you have this nice sight line right across the point for anybody, and it makes it a little bit easier for people to see anybody who's coming up this way or running away. As you can see on the point, I, because I've lowered all of the height, you can now do a very easy jump to go from the point onto this roof to get up here. Since a lot of people were complaining, as I said before, that they were having difficulty getting back up to this spot when they fell off. Now, something that I'm not entirely sure about is if this will play the way I want it to. This upper area is supposed to be for attackers attacking the point. And it's not supposed to be for defenders to stand on and look this way and blow everybody up from over here. It's supposed to be for attackers to stand this way and get some advantage on the point with height. I don't know if this will play out the way that I think it will. I don't know if the defending team, since they can easily get up here, will then, you know, go to the point, hop up this, and then make a nice spot up here. I'll have to see how that play tests. Of course, if that turns out to be a problem, I will then change things accordingly. Something else that I changed to try to give snipers more of an area, I gave them this upper area so they can walk up here on top of this roof and snipe from up there. They got a nice little sight line onto the point and over to this spot as well as they can see all the way over here. And I removed these fences. Now, unfortunately, removing those fences gets rid of the little engineer alcove that I had at this angled wall before for teleporters and dispensers. It's not too bad because you still have all this area to build teleporters and, and dispensers. You can even build them over here if you want to. But what it did do is it opened up more sniper sight line. So snipers can stand down here and shoot across. Snipers can stand up here and shoot across. Snipers can stand over here and shoot across. Hopefully it'll give them somewhere to go. Snipers can go to this window and... Well, they can't really do a whole lot from this window. But, you know, if, if people are using this area in order to fight down this way, if attackers are up here in order to <laughs> shoot people up there and <laughs> shoot them over there have a sniper come up and be like, boom, headshot. And hopefully that will work the way that I think it will. And we'll see about that. That is, that is mis messed up. That needs to be fixed. <laughs> that overlay's cut off. Uh, I think I also lowered this upper area. Uh, so there's a lip, so it's a little bit easier to walk up across. But that, oh, it's, pardon me, that's going to get cut. That is pretty much it for the changes for Synthetic A2. I cannot remember any other changes that I had to make. Uh, I took these pipes from Merc Park as well, Mercenary Park. So there's a couple of things in here from Mercenary Park. Mercenary Park has some nice props, but Mercenary Park also has some specific props that only really make sense in Mercenary Park. Like, the, there's a forklift part prop. There's an actual official forklift prop. Previously, you know, there was only one forklift prop that existed to my knowledge, and it was a custom prop. But now that there's an official one, I can use that instead of having to use a custom one, which would expand the file size of the map, because it would have to save that into the map. But instead, I can use the official one. But the problem is the official one says Yeti Park on the side. So I got to figure out if I do end up using that prop at any point. I gotta figure out what to do with that. And there's a problem with that with a lot of the Mercenary Park props. A lot of them 
have stuff for Yeti Park specifically for that map. So they're not quite as modular as a lot of things in Team Fortress 2. Unlike a game like Overwatch or Dirty Bomb, Team Fortress 2 has a lot of modular pieces, whereas Overwatch, all of the pieces they have are made specifically for their maps. And the same thing with Dirty Bomb, you do not see a lot of props that are used in multiple maps outside of extremely generic ones like boxes or crates but team fortress 2 is generally pretty modular with how it goes with its props um maybe somebody will be able to make a custom skin for that forklift that will get rid of the yeti park thing on the side or maybe the tf team or somebody will make it official and that won't be a problem but that is one thing to keep in mind if you decide to use the mercenary park props and these props yes do they go inside the building of course they do because they're not perfect they're not designed for this map but uh i was able to change the lighting orientation to make it so that it doesn't look weird uh and i think it looks okay it ain't perfect but you know it gets the job done maybe if this map takes off when it comes to people who are interested in it, I might be able to get somebody to make a custom pipe, or I might change up the rooftop up here, but that's all aesthetic stuff to worry about in the future. Uh, it's not really a problem right now, as long as it's got a little bit of a something to add a little bit of cover, because I still want cover here. It's not going to be the alcove that it was, but it's still going to be cover for people who are attacking the point. But that is it for King of the Hills Synthetic Alpha 2. There'll be a link to it in the description of the video to the thread over on tf2maps.net that you can go to download it, check it out, let me know what you think. I'm always open to more feedback, and I will uh, come back next time with the third alpha of this map, and we'll see how things change from there. There are a couple things I'm worried about when it comes to the playtesting for this map, but we'll see how things go. I'm also a little bit worried the map may, uh, may be a little bit too long when it comes to King of the Hill. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to really be a problem, but if it is a problem, I'll have to figure out where in the world I'm going to shorten it, what I'm going to cut out of it. Because I like the individual areas that I have, and I think they work pretty well. But if it ends up being too long, I'll have to figure out how I'm going to shorten the thing. So that's it for now. Thank you guys very much for watching. There'll be more videos in the future. Either they'll be looking at my map videos or quick peek videos or whatever in the world I'm thinking of. I've got a couple of things in the works that may or may not actually come to fruition. So you can always stay tuned to the channel for any of that. I'm Mega Plant Man, and I hope you have a great day. And I will talk to you guys later.